Portfolio Tech presentation, how to create an ePortfolio. Currently we're on Portfolio Tech's dashboard and there are a number of different ways to create an ePortfolio. You could click the Create ePortfolio button on the dashboard itself, or use one of the three different methods of getting to the ePortfolio management screen to create an ePortfolio from there. We'll click on the ePortfolio management icon in the top black bar, taking us to the ePortfolio management screen where there is another Create ePortfolio button. Going back to the dashboard, we'll go ahead and create an ePortfolio from this screen by clicking the Create ePortfolio plus sign. And here you can see we have the standard three-step process for building an ePortfolio. You have a plethora of templates that you could choose from to start off the creative process of building your ePortfolio. After which you would choose the types of pages that you would want. You can choose a blank one or begin with pages that we have predefined or recommend for certain ePortfolio types. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll use the graphics design content template and maybe pick a different visual creative display for the ePortfolio. You'd finish this process by naming the ePortfolio and clicking the done icon. This transitions the Folio Tech presentation into the ePortfolio editor. It is here that you'll notice when you hover over various areas inside of the editor, you have things that you can do. And if you click in one of those areas, you'll find that you can edit the text, edit the content of that area. So I'm pasting in some content. And once you have some content in one of these content editable areas, you can begin editing it just as if you were in a word processor. You can highlight text, bold text, underline text, all of the functions that you would in a normal word processing system you have available to you inside of the ePortfolio editor. Additionally to adding in various formatting, you can create links inside of your presentation that can take you to anywhere else on the web. So once you highlight the text and type in the information for the link you want, it appears inside of your editor as a different color, specifying that it is a link. Outside of links, there are all sorts of other things that can be added in addition to the content of your ePortfolio. Using the Gizmos tab on the toolbar, you'll see that we have a fair number of options to include additional content from various ways to display images to presentation types like Prezi, embedding documents and embedding any kind of component from another system. If you've already uploaded files in the Folio Tech presentation, you can click and drop any number of file or video that you have already added in the Folio Tech presentation, as well as manipulate pages that you've added in, adding new pages, removing pages. Ultimately, you can be super creative and change the layout of your ePortfolio with a number of our layout options. You can change the background from the color that it is, or maybe even choose a background image that you want to apply to your ePortfolio. Finally, if you want to be super stylistic, you can go into our style editor and tweak your portfolio perfectly to your specifications. Finally, you want to save your ePortfolio and share it if you wish. Once you're done doing those functions, you can go back to your ePortfolio management screen and see your new ePortfolio listed amongst ePortfolios that have already been created. Thanks for watching our quick video on how to create an ePortfolio in Folio Tech presentation.